September 8th started out like any regular day. We went to school, we did some math, we went to gym, and then we went to Learning Lab. There we saw Miss Unger, who gave us our first STEAM challenge of the year. She told us that we were going to be engineers and that we were going to build a marble roller coaster. We were stumped. A roller coaster for a marble? How could we do that? We're only in second grade. But we got together as a team and we thought about it. And we thought about it. Until finally, we had an idea. We were so excited that we didn't know what to do first. We knew that we needed to learn a little bit about how the marble would move. So we did that. And we knew that we needed a plan. So we made that too. But as we gathered our materials, we realized that not all of us had ridden a roller coaster before. So Miss Unger gave us these special glasses called virtual reality glasses to put on and see what riding a roller coaster really looks like and really feels like. Even our teacher took a ride. Miss Unger thought the virtual reality glasses might make us better designers. And they did, because then we knew what real tracks looked like. Finally, it was time to get to work. It got really messy in the learning lab. Supplies were flying all over the place. Each team had a different plan. Some kids wanted to build roller coasters with twists and turns. Some wanted loop-de-loops. All of us had big hills, so that our marble could pick up speed on the way down. We really had to focus and try new things. Each team member shared his or her ideas, and we collaborated. That means we worked together. Sure, sometimes we disagreed, but that was okay. We always figured out how to fix it. Luckily for us, we are getting really good at teamwork. Teamwork is so important because if even one of our team members isn't helping out, we probably aren't going to be able to accomplish our goal. This project was definitely a challenge. No one built a perfect roller coaster the first time. Actually, we had to take a couple days and a couple tries before we could get it to work. Even then, it wasn't perfect. But we kept trying. Some of us were pretty nervous. Would the marble make it from the top to the bottom? Or would it fall off the track? We wanted the roller coaster to be a safe ride and a fun ride. So we had to build things like bumpers and walls for the marbles to hit off of. By the time we finished, our roller coasters looked a lot different than our original plan. But that was all right. When we shared them with the class, we learned that there is no one way to solve this challenge. But that if we are creative and we work together and try and try again, we can be excellent problem solvers.